Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another exciting episode of Primarily Speaking Show We love to talk shit on a plethora of topics I am your host with the most man with the gas, Mr. Poppin' Two Quarters Let me get in that ass, it is your boy Prime in the motherfucking building And Azul to the 25 Oh yeah, we are back once again And I am the total package race there, Captain Carolina doing this thing that guy's right hand man. We doing our thing again. We back once again on Wild Card Weekend. Cuz, what's going on, man? How was your week? Ooh, yeah. it's been it's been quite the week, sir. It's been quite the week, quite the motherfucking week, man. It's uh, been a pretty interesting week, man. Uh, lots of things <laughs> been happening, man. We got some nice. We got a nice little topic in our, our segment. Uh, we we renamed the segment. Instead of meat and potatoes, we're gonna call it the prime cut. That's what we're gonna call it. Yeah, nice little that's what I'm talking about. Nice yeah. little topic we got for that for that segment coming up soon. Um but we got a few good things on the docket today, man. Um we got we definitely got to talk about uh the playoffs. It's been a pretty good playoff starting off yesterday. We recording this on Sunday, this will be out on Monday, but um a uh, real good Saturday. A real good Saturday of games. Yeah. I liked it. I liked it, and, and some good games and, coming and, up. And, and, and Tampa getting their ass booked oh, on a Sunday. Lord. This, this, you call this out all these days, yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Sunday, today, the, the Tampa Bay is going to beat the Eagles' ass. We already know that. Come on, now. Come on, now. You know that. Roll Stop acting like that. Stop acting like Roll that. Tide. Stop acting That's like that. Jalen Hurts is going to give you all y'all issues. It's going to be problems, problems. Jalen Hurts going to yeah. be hurting after this game. We're going to put it on that defense, man. That defense don't even know nothing to play with now. Stop playing with us like that. You okay, keep talking about the good. offense, but I'm talking about our defense is going to shut them boy down. Oh, man. Don't act like y'all got defense. You know what? Let's just, let's just go ahead and keep moving because we're going to talk about that. Okay. I'm going right. to get you upset. I'm going yeah, to get you upset about that early <laughs> later on. We'll that? see. We'll see. <laughs> um, we got a few more things, man. Definitely talk about some um, new shows that have been out, a um, couple movies and um, – so a few things going on in the world, man. Let's kick it off with uh, Mr. Novak Djokovic had to get booted out of Australia. <laughs> they said, if you don't want to get your ass vaccinated, you got to go, sir. Yeah, yeah. What you think right. about that, man? Well, I, I like it. You know I'm all for it. Uh, you don't want to get vaccinated? Fuck him. <laughs> you, can't, you can't play here if, you, if you're not going to play correctly. So you take you and your visa and bounce. Y'all can't bounce. do nothing in Australia. Australia I like Australia like, for that. Big ups Australia. Yeah, Australia was like, no man, we not, we like, we we not playing them games with you, man. You you've been doing that. Yeah, I think he like an anti vaxxer type of dude, right? Like he's a like he's making yeah. a stand against the vaccination, not just not taking it, right? Right. And yeah. lying at the same time, yeah. And lying at the same time, talking about he got a medical exemption when he really doesn't. Mm-hmm. You know, I it, it amazes me how people just making up shit. You know, with this whole vaccine and COVID stuff or whatever, like, you know, people like um, talking about, I got a, a religious exemption mm. and they ain't been to church in the past three <laughs> Easter's. Yeah, it, that that really killed me. You know, I got a religious exemption. Sit down uh, I and know, shut right? up. What are you talking about? I was yeah, talking about that yesterday, um, cause yesterday I went down to um, Orangeburg um, to my father-in-law spot, man, and I got to say, man. You got to come back out um, to the cave, man. The cave was decked out, bro. Oh, yeah? He got oh, that cave. Man, listen. Cave is on point, cause like I'm talking, he got a fucking oven in that bitch. He got a grill, an air fryer, a real fryer. I mean, okay. anything you need. I mean, seasonings. Everything you need is in there. You don't have to leave that motherfucker, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, that hey, shit is decked out. He, he said he said after a while he was gonna have it like that too. So and it's been a while since I've been out that way. So yeah, man, we definitely gonna have to get it. We definitely gonna have to record a show there at least one time. Get um, Mr. BJ back in again. Yeah, get man. Get him on the mics. That shit was dope. Yeah. But um, we was talking about the um, vaccines down there, man. And um, you know, um, he was banning people like, if you ain't vaccinated, you can't come in. 
<laughs> Period. <laughs> Period. You know what I'm saying? He was not playing that shit. He changed. He changed his tune, huh? Oh yeah. He changed his tune. Yeah, he done got yeah. vaccinated. He done got yeah. vaccinated and everything, man. He's like, nah, if you ain't vaccinated, don't even come through this threshold. But right. we was um talking how people just um like people just be saying they don't want to get vaccinated. I don't even understand why people don't want to do it. You know what I mean? They, they uh, uh, you have the option to do it, but if if it's making shit better or lessening hospitalizations and deaths and things like that, why? What's the problem? I just don't get what because the problem is. To me, this and this is just my opinion, these assholes thinking it's just all about them. Like how, you know, when you hear Kyrie say dumb shit like the world is flat, he's just <laughs> doing that shit. <laughs> he's just doing that shit to sound different. Kyrie knows the world is round, though. What's but he them type, and you know what I'm talking about, cause you don't meet these type of people that just say certain shit. You know what I'll call it? I'll label it <laughs> doing the Skip Bayless. That's what you're doing because you just say you know. Oh yeah, yeah. You yeah. know that what yeah you know that what you're saying is incorrect and sounds stupid, but you just want to say that shit just to be different. How do these That's motherfuckers all. believe the Earth is flat, dog? <laughs> how? I don't get that shit. I honestly don't exactly. understand how they believe the earth is flat. And that should tell you everything right there. You know they play. So they, like how they playing with this vaccine. So do they think that all planets are flat or just the earth? Probably. <laughs> like, <laughs> Of course just the earth. <laughs> Listen, to them, ain't no other planets, no other, you know, intelligent life form, none of that. Everything begins and ends with earth. I wonder if I they keep telling you. I wonder if they still believe that the, the sun revolves around the earth. I wonder if they still think yeah. that. <laughs> a, lot, a lot of them do, though. I'm telling you, Earth is the Florida of the galaxy, dog. <laughs> you say the Florida of the galaxy. Yeah. Yeah, man. Marshes, <laughs> some marshes land, and they be like, no, we got to get the fuck up out there. And some just pass right on by. They be like, no, don't stop here. No, don't go oh, down there. That doesn't kill me, man. But, yeah, um, vaccines, man, I, don't, I just don't. People with these conspiracies about vaccines, I, come on, man. It's It's not... I don't get what the problem is, period. I just don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Right. Man. But yeah. You would think after all this time, you know, they would switch up their thinking. Like, remember, they've been using the excuse where I don't know what's in it. I need to get more information. If you ain't get your information by now, you just ain't fucking trying. So get, grab that dude, man. Get his arm. Roll his sleeve up. I tell He's people, I've told people like this when it comes to like vaccine, vaccinations and any, any, any medication for that, for that uh, matter, like, when it comes to computers, right, you put a virus protection on your computer, on your laptop or computer, home, home PC. Get Having the virus protection don't mean you're not going to get a virus. It just makes it less likely for you to get one. You know what I mean? Exactly. At, at the end of the day, it still depends on how you use your computer. You know what I mean? If you're going to these sites you shouldn't be going to, clicking on bad links or going to bad websites or installing bad programs it's the same thing with the vaccines in your body like you get the vaccination yes it doesn't mean you can't get the virus but you still on your own have to do things to prevent yourself from getting it washing your hands using sanitizer staying away from large crowds uh, social distancing you still have to practice certain things you can't just say i'm gonna I'm a get the vaccine and then oh wow i'm magically good no it just lessens lessens the opportunity for you to get sick or, or become hospitalized. That's it. I mean, everybody want this magic pill. There's not, nothing is nothing a hundred percent like that. You know what I mean? It's just wow. No, they don't. They don't know what they don't know what that <coughs> means, cuz. Exactly. And you making exactly my point. Because some people really think that once you get the vaccine, boom, I'm immune. I can't get um COVID. And they go out there and they start doing dumb shit. Just like how they did last year. Think mm-hmm. about it. You had a lot of people really thinking, well, why get the vaccine if I can still get COVID? And I'm just just mind blown when I heard that type of shit. Like, dog, the same reason you get the flu vaccine <laughs> and you still could get the flu. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it just lessens like, the opportunity. On, and I, I know that the no magic pill. I know the C D C and um, a lot of uh, quote unquote experts are putting out bad information. I don't say bad information, but um, confusing information. A lot of confusing information. But I mean, it, 
they, 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 people, I think the, the masses are looking for definite answers, and there's no way to give them those definite answers on this stuff, man. It's, it's still a work in progress. They're still figuring the shit out. You know what I'm saying? They still, they still studying the virus. They still studying the vaccines. You know what I mean? They're just trying to come up with stuff that can help lessen the problems. I think the fact that they came up with something in a year's time to help lessen the lessen the blows was 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 good work. You know what I'm saying? I think that was good right. work. So I don't know exactly. I don't know. I'm ranting a little bit, but um, uh, what else it's is going good. on? You can rant. What else is going on? Cause what's happening out here? Um, a lot of stuff, man. Uh, you so it up. so you said you finally saw um the Matrix Resurrection, right? Yeah. So what you think? What you think about the movie, man? Boo! Oh, terrible. Let me tell you something. Them Wachowski brothers they ain't make nothing good since the Matrix, the original one. Not these <laughs> craps afterwards and all that other <clears throat> crap that they don't make. Whatever. You will hear something funny. And I. Hate- What's that? You, you know the Wachowski brothers that did that first, the first series of the Matrix. You know that they, yeah, they're um, females now. Yeah, they, they, that's why the the directors is a woman's name, <laughs> but it's the same people. Yeah. yeah, and you know what? And and this gonna be a hot take. This gonna be controversial. <laughs> that's why they can't make good movies no more, dog. <laughs> <laughs> that's the reason. Because they women now. <laughs> Yeah, listen, listen, and listen, and I know people will be like, oh my God, he's just sexy. I'm going to prove it to you right now. Listen, okay, in this new Matrix, right? Okay. This is the resurrection. Everybody coming back. Mm-hmm. Neil can't do nothing but that little blocking shit or whatever. <laughs> Trinity can do everything, man. Trinity can fly. <laughs> Remember when they jump off the building? Yeah. And Neil be like, oh shit. <laughs> he <couldn't fly." laughs> and then she said, I'm like, oh come on, man. I'm like, now Neil been the man in the first one. He was the one. The, the one. one, right. Now all of a sudden Trinity is the come on. <laughs> you must be with that. You must be with that one. You're killing me. You're killing me, Petey. Oh. I couldn't believe that shit though. I was so mad. By I was confused by that at the like, end. I was confused by that. I said, like, "Why the fuck is she flying?" Right. That's <laughs> Neil thing. <laughs> Even yeah. the first one did that. Yeah, he was pussy yeah. in this movie. Yeah, they he had could, neat man. Listen, I he couldn't so fight. Neil. I'm like, they he couldn't straight, do shit. Could, yeah, he couldn't do nothing. <laughs> they just straight emasculated him. Man. I'm like, this is what you do to the star of the franchise. Come on, man. That's like bringing Michael Jordan back and telling him he can only shoot. Um, free throws. He can't do nothing else. But he can shoot, he can shoot free throws. That's it. I thought it was. I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was terrible, but uh, you know, I don't know if it was a good button. I, I thought the story was good. It's just the way they executed the story wasn't all that good. Like the idea of them, because they both of them died. You know what I mean? Neo and Trinity okay. died. Right. We saw that. <laughs> and so they saying that the machines like- bring them back to life or shit, whatever. Like what? That was yeah, yeah. See you, for, and we disagree right now because because you saying the story is good. The story is trash, absolute garbage. It shouldn't. Ha, okay, so the machines <laughs> kill Trinity and Neil, but in a flash, little second, decide no, we really want to save them for whatever type of exper- experiment that they never ever brought back on or said anything about during the movie, and that's how they came back. So they put them. They resurrected them in a, in the Matrix mm-hmm. to put them back. Well, no, no. In the real world, to put them back in the Matrix. They mm-hmm. reasserted them. That's what the whole... Come on, man. That is, that's some of the worst storytelling, <laughs> worst ideas. And like I said, these guys are chicks now. Okay. They cannot make good movies no more, man. I thought it was okay, they man. Missed. The story was okay. No. Mm-mm. story was trash. <laughs> the story was... <laughs> and I guarantee... You know what it is, man. And ladies and gentlemen, like I can, like I continue to tell y'all, our fearless leader is a very diplomatic dude. He always wants to be the devil's advocate, talk on the other side, but not this time, cause I'm not going out. No, Mm-mm. we here at primary speakers say the new Matrix is trash. All Take I say, all I saying is that the story was good, but the execution was terrible. 
Cause them that? bringing them boy bringing them back, like trying to use them in order to make the Matrix better itself. I get it. I get it. They just wanted to use them. They didn't want them to be aware or anything. They just wanted to use them, boy. So that's what the machines did. They just used them, boy. And then, but unfortunately, them boy wake up. I think they say what sixty years, over sixty years have them passed since the, um the last um the third movie or whatever. So man, I but thought it was good. The whole point. It happened the whole point of the first movies, man. They, they've been using them to make the Matrix better. But you know, like they, they, they came, doing. but they came to a, a, an agreement. The saying, listen, the people that want to get out the Matrix, they should be allowed to leave if they want to. People that want to stay can stay. And I mean, that was the agreement that they made. Some people wanted to stay. Some people wanted to leave. It happened the whole premise of the first one. Remember the dude who fuck everything up? Who was like, oh, yeah, I know the steak ain't real, but it just tastes so good. Mm-hmm. He proof. You can choose if you want. If you don't want to take the red, don't take the red pill. <laughs> take the blue <laughs> pill and go back. Go live your life, man. No, Take but things. before, before, the machines didn't want the humans getting out of the matrix. They didn't want them to do that. You know what I mean? They've been at war with them trying to eradicate them or whatever the case may be uh, in the real world and just, just keep them in the matrix. But now it's, it's like they got a balance. They're saying, hey, we we get to decide what we want to do. Don't leave us the fuck alone. You know what I mean? And that's what that, they have that peace. Or at least I, okay. I feel like they had that peace. Well, they didn't. They didn't because they've still been battling and doing the same shit they've been doing in the first one. Except for this time, the story was way weaker. It was worse. They should have never brought it back. Four thumbs down. I wish I had two wow. arms. Wow, you say four thumbs down. <laughs> Damn. I wish uh, I had two arms to get this shit. Four thumbs down, dog. That's I didn't right. think it was that bad, but you know, it's all good. It's all good. Um, mm-hmm. What else? Um, Peacemaker. They, that debuted on HBO Max. And you said you fell asleep. <laughs> yeah, they strike, they're strike. striking out left to right, cuz. Once again, I'll give this one three thumbs down. Give me an extra one. Three thumbs down. Mm. It's terrible. It's terrible. And I mean, like I said, maybe I need to watch the movie and, you know, get a different feel about it or whatever, but it's trash, man. I mean... The only thing he really can do is like heal fast, right, or something like that. He ain't no. even like home. I don't even know. I don't. Even, that's that. that's one thing I couldn't figure out. I don't know if he like got like the super soldier serum or he got some kind of power. I don't know. I don't think so. It didn't right. appear like, so. I saw. I saw him in one of them uh, episodes. He like jump off a building and like broke his shoulder, dislocated his shoulder, and kind of heal back real fast. So that's why I'm like, okay, he can heal fast. That's about it. But you see, but like, I don't really know his power. <laughs> But here's the, here's the fucked up part about the shit, right? Because you're right. He did jump out the uh, window and hurt his shoulder. That was in the first episode. In the second mm-hmm. episode, he had to go back into that building, right? And then he'd been running mm-hmm. from the police or hiding from the police. And he'd been jumping from, like, patio to patio. And every time he jumped, mm-hmm. he'd been hurting himself. Pretty I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. How you jump from a five-story window and, and, and get up and run? <laughs> But now nah, you can't jump from balcony to balcony without damn grunting and, and, and hurting yourself. I'm like, this don't make no goddamn sense to me, man. Show yeah, was bad. Even Show like, was terrible. Even per- yeah. Even like he even purposely, he couldn't he couldn't land at all on his feet. Even right. when he tried to land on his <laughs> yeah, feet, he still, you know, busts his ass. I'm like, what kind of shit is this? I couldn't, you know, um, I couldn't keep up, man. That shit been so bad, bro. Yeah. <clears> yeah. yeah. <throat> Three times a Three thumbs down for that one. Yeah, I got to get yeah, that shit. You need to take that back to the drawing board. But see, I thought he was good in the movie, in the Suicide Squad second movie. I I thought he was good in the movie, but he he a completely different dude in the um show. I don't know who, who the fuck he is in the show. Shit is just okay. completely different, man. Um, yeah, yeah. we'll figure it out though. It's all right, trash. let's roll into some playoff talk, man. Playoff talk, man. NFL playoff this weekend. Yesterday, the Raiders um lost to the Bengals. And the Patriots lost to the Bills, man. What do you think about that Raiders game? Uh, the Raiders game was pretty good. It, it was just what I thought it would be um, with the Raiders having the chance near the end. Um, they couldn't get it done. Couldn't. Uh, my boy Derek Carr, you know, I love him. I think he's a great quarterback. He looked great in uh, any other jersey. <laughs> 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 but, uh, but yeah, um, it came down to it. And it was a good game. Uh, Joe Burrow and the Bungles can't call them the Bungles no more. They're moving on, and they're looking pretty hot. They're looking pretty hot. I don't think nobody in the AFC wants to see the Bengals and the um, 
playoffs right now. Do you? Uh, and as far as the Patriots, I am absolutely elated that the Patriots got bounced out of the playoffs early, and especially the way that they did, the Bulls just routed them. Mm. Now, I got a question. Fried it up on it all. Do you yeah, think I got an answer? With um, with the with the with Joe Burrow going to the Bengals, and I'll, I'll even see with Tom Brady coming to the to the Buccaneers. Do you think a franchise could be turned around with a good quarterback? Hell yes, though. You got to have a good quarterback to turn your franchise around. He's the head of the. He's the head of the table. He's the lead dog. He's your field general. You know, he got to be dope. You know, he got to be out there like Deshaun Watson or uh, or even a aforementioned Tom Brady, you know. Got to be out there like that, you know. Um, they can make or break a franchise. See Miami. Then why why doesn't Detroit ever pick up a goddamn quarterback? Like well, a, a, Detroit doesn't pick up quarterback. No, I'm talking about a fresh out of college quarterback. They got Matt Stafford, remember? They drafted him, but... He been fresh out the of college? Detroit Lions are... Yeah, yeah. Is he Detroit a good quarterback? a different animal. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. That remains to be seen. That remains to be seen. I mean, because I thought he was a good quarterback coming out of college. But I thought I Stafford he was... The wasn't he with the Rams before he went to the, Detroit? Yeah, we, no, no, he went he with the Rams now. Oh. And that's how, that's why I'm saying we're oh. going to see these, these playoffs right here, what he is, because if he lose Monday night, it's just the same old shit that they've been doing in Detroit, you know. So I mean, you know, you traded for him for nothing, but you know, we are gonna see. Um, but Detroit is a different animal, you know. Uh, that's like uh, the Clippers in the NBA. Why they can't they get it shit. right, man? I don't know what the fuck their yeah. problem is. They cannot get it right. I think every sports league got a a franchise or organization that just can't get right. Every you gotta have one. Mm. Gotta have one. Yeah. I was like, I was like, damn, like uh, the Joe Ball just really coming and just turn that whole franchise around. First mm-hmm. playoff win in thirty did. years, I think. The boys say. Thirty. Um, yeah, thirty years. Shit, more than that. Nineteen ninety or ninety one was the last playoff yeah, one. Pretty much. Ninety one. Yeah, I remember that too. Yeah, sure enough, Boomer size mm-hmm. and the fellas, and, and, and Icky was with the Icky Shuffle. Yeah, I remember that. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, a lot of y'all youngsters don't remember that. That's all good. You can YouTube that, Google it. Matter of fact, dude did that shit when the first on the first touchdown. Had to do the icky shuffle. Yeah, sure did. Sure did. You know, so. Uh, um. So that was the Bengals and the Riddle. The Bills and the Patriots. You say you happy to see the Patriots lose? Very happy. Very excited. Um. Very satisfied. Um. Roll bull ass out you. I'm tired of the Patriots. They've been dominating for too long. Trying to get the asses out here, man. You know, is Belichick being exposed now? Is Bill Belichick yes. done? Yes, yes, he's done. He ain't going no more Super Bowls. I don't want to hear this shit about Mac Jones, Mac and Cheese. Going. No, they're not. <laughs> he's done. <laughs> he's absolutely done. He's not going to win no more. He needed Tom Brady. Tom Brady didn't need him. It was proven. Everybody mm-hmm. knows it now. So, yeah. Mm. So, no. There you go. And um, Monday night. We got the big one. What about today? The Rams. Well, today, Tampa go get their ass spanked first. Wait a minute. Stop right there. You're going to wait a minute. Stop right you there. Wait a minute all you want. Tampa Bay is going to roll over the Eagles today, bro. I, I can't see that, sir. Um, but I'll tell you one thing. Y'all in trouble. You have I, how? Left. How? He, he, well, Antonio Brown doesn't shatter your whole team. And like what? I told you. We still win Once without him. The position, we still win without him. We was winning when well, he wasn't we'll playing. How, well, we will see how far y'all get with, without his ass in the playoffs this year here because you have nothing else. Mike Evans playing a half strength, and um, uh, Godwin gone for the season. He's done. We still got Gronk. Having y'all number one receiver. We still got Gronk. Who? Gronk. He's not the same guy. No. He's who? still catching them balls, though. He's still catching them shits, though. The He's not the same dude. Philly going to roll in there, uh, playing in nice weather today, I believe. Um, mm-hmm. 67. I think it's 67 down there. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah it's going to be pretty nice. Mm-hmm. But our, our defense, good. even though even though the Eagles got like the number one rushing um, um, attack attack, and um, for the league, our defense is going to shut them boy down, man. It's, it's, you don't believe that. I, I believe the defense is going to shut them boy down, man. That they not because so, matter of fact, think, matter of fact, they showed the stat. They said uh, when we beat them, I think I'm in week six. 
they they didn't ramp all that shit up until after we beat them. They weren't doing all that shit before. You know what I mean? I mean after we beat them, that they finally get that shit. They didn't do that shit against us. They did That's that shit to everybody point. else. They're a different team on this meeting right now than before. That's the whole point. Mm. I, I, thanks. I I appreciate that you pointing that out. You know that's 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 real gracious. Ain't gonna you know, be nothing. You different. already know what time it is. Ain't gonna be nothing. They gonna roll over y'all. Could be a repeat. Roll over your in the second game and the real real main event, the main dish of the day, the 49ers rolling into uh, Dallas, <clears throat> Jerry's world, and they are gonna roll Jerry them ass. Out of there. Why is Jerry Jones still alive? How? Listen, that is so... <laughs> because he pay, he rich. He can pay... Man, listen. It's expensive to be alive. He can pay for it. How the hell is this man yeah. uh, continue to be alive? But anyway, yeah. Um, um, I think the Cowboys going to lose the day. 49 is going to do it. Mm-hmm. They're going to pull this one off the day. Now, Cowboys is the favorite to win, but 49 is about to bust that ass today. So we can hear all the Cowgirls fans shut the hell up for a change. Yeah. Yeah, we ain't got to deal with them no more for the rest of the season. And that's always a good thing. So, and don't get me wrong. CD I Lamb. Think, I think Dallas boy's is bad. Yeah, I, I think Dallas is immensely talented. I think they got talent at every skill position. You know what they don't have? A good, smart coach. Mm. They got one of the dumbest coaches to ever um, coach in the league. Why do you he say got, that? Um, well, because he's a dumb coach. <laughs> You can just watch the yeah, you, you can just watch what he do on every Sunday, Sunday in and Sunday out. He all bad clock management, calling the wrong plays. The only reason he got a championship is because he coached Aaron Rodgers. I could have coached Aaron Rodgers to that championship and I had a championship um title under my. But day. how you say he a bad he coach if they winning, man? Their record is they record speaks otherwise. Who, Dallas? Yeah. Because Dallas won it? Yeah. He's a front runner. He can do that shit in the round regular season. But as far as like making adjustments and being a real coach, he get his pants pulled down every time he meet a um, playoff type team. Every time. So if we not a good coach, man. If, if Dallas, who, if the winner out of the San Fran game has to play the winner out of our game, right? And I, then no, no. Um, well, yeah, because y'all number two, right? Yeah. Because I think, um, yeah, I think y'all number it's two. Green Bay so, number yeah, one. So the winner out of yeah, the Cardinals yeah. game and the Rams have to play Green Bay. Uh, I think he go the other way. I think it's like the lower seed out of the um, out of the uh, four teams, mm-hmm. and whoever win them um them two games play the lower seed or some shit like that. I gotta look at the paper. So we would play the winner out of the Green because yeah. usually we play Green Bay and um. Not usually, but last year we played Green Bay in the NFC yeah, Championship. I must say, wait, yeah, I must say, what is this usually shit? What, what is this usually shit? Say, hey, listen, let's not play no favorites now. Let's act like, don't act like y'all been doing this, you know? But you know what I mean. Green Bay usually yeah. played the uh, <laughs> NFC Championship, man, even though Aaron Rodgers yeah. only won it once. He done lost it, like, what, four That's times? Right. Three three or four times? Yeah, he, he's one and four. Out of five NFC champions, he won one and lost four. That's why I'd be like, hey, this dude might be um, overrated. Mm, Y'all just talking about could... this man. Oh, my God. He's great. This, he's great. That. I wouldn't he's say he's overrated, no. Mm. Really? Really? Okay. If you know somebody that's talking about they this great, they this great <laughs> playing spades, and out of five games that you watch them play, big games, Championship games. They only win one of them games. You gonna call him a great speed player? You gonna say he one of the best that you ever seen? No. Okay, I see not. your point. I see your point. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Your point. <laughs> we need to. We as a society need to stop doing this. <laughs> I see your point now. <laughs> we have to stop patting these people on the back when they don't deserve it. Mm. There are no participation trophies. None. Zero. I know, right? Yeah, you're right. No participation <laughs> trophy. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. My bad. My bad. Yeah. All right. So, yeah, all this, uh, who, you, who you think gonna win out the um the uh, AFC game tonight? Um, the Bengals, not the Bengals. Um, uh, Patriots. Nah, oh, shit. Steelers and the Chiefs. Shit, I couldn't get the shit out. <laughs> yeah, you tripping? Yeah, you tripping? Because <laughs> you already focus. You trying to focus on your game, dog? Just relax. Y'all gonna lose. Coming up um, in twenty minutes, baby. Go ahead. But hey, listen. 
Hot take. Hot take. I'm telling you right now. And it's being recorded so everybody can have the archives and let and I'm gonna let you know right now when it's when it comes to sports, I'm the source. I come here to get your answer. <laughs> okay, <Pittsburgh> all right. <laughs> will beat Kansas City in Kansas City today. Wait a minute. You think you think Pittsburgh gonna beat Kansas City? That's right. That's right. They're gonna beat Kansas City. Wow. Today. Watch. 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 Wow. We're recording this. We're recording it. <laughs> This, we're recording it, so I don't want to hear no noise. But, oh my God, he was right. Yeah, you damn right I was right, dog. I'm telling y'all. Do you really I know these things, that? man. Do you really believe Pittsburgh that? will win today in Kansas City. I'm calling the upset right now. I'm calling mm. it. In. I don't agree, man. I don't think Pittsburgh can beat Kansas City, man. You don't have to agree, but I'm right. <laughs> mm. I'm, mm. I'm absolutely correct. You might be you know, wrong about ask- this one, cuz. Mm. I doubt it. And afterwards, I want everybody to come and bow at the altar of all that is Rex. We talking sports. <laughs> That's all I want everybody to do. Oh, come man. And bow. It's, 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 you need not say anything. It's just the simple fact that I don't have as much sports knowledge uh, as you might have. I as can't I, argue with I. you as much, but I just agree. I don't have the facts. I don't have the stats in my brain to combat what you're saying. But I completely well, disagree with what you're saying, cuz. Well, that's well, that's perfectly fine, cuz. Not a lot of people can come at me <laughs> when it comes to sports. And I understand exactly. And not, and not a lot of people are as knowledgeable. So, I mean, hey, that's fine. I try to drop knowledge whenever I can. You know, and drop little tidbits here, tidbits here. You know, little bite-sized stuff so people can take it in and not have their little puny minds explode so i don't, hey, I don't even think good. you believe but that, i am calling but i am calling that in dog. I, don't think you believe that shit. I don't trust kansas city at all i don't trust them at all i don't think you so, believe that shit man and i t- and i'll tell you right now i'll tell you why because when it comes down to it it's gonna come down to coaching and i trust mike tomlin more than i trust andy Reid. really more than andy yes Reed? yeah yeah what's the problem what's the problem I, What's the problem? Come on, man. I think Andy Reid is the problem? more winning coach than type Mike Tomlin. Am I, uh, am no, I incorrect? He's no, he, you are incorrect, sir. Mike Tomlin has not had a losing season since he has been coaching in Look, the NFL. Losing season or not, that don't mean he got more wins. I just mean he ain't been below 500. That's all. No, that, no, no. That means he has a lot of wins. <laughs> when, you, when you're winning... And you're not having a losing season. That means you're winning more games than you're losing. That's what that always means. You could break even at 500, that. right? You could break even. You could, you could end eight and eight. No, you could end eight well, and eight. He has not. He has not. He has not. Oh, that's all I know. All I know is uh, he hasn't had a losing season. He's got uh, one championship and two Super Bowl appearances. He's one of the best young black coaches. For, oh, excuse me, scratch that. Let me back up. He's one of the best coaches in the NFL. I'm about to, I'm Reed googling this shit right now. Well, you go ahead, go ahead, Google it. You Google it. You can do whatever you want to it. But I don't, I'm calling it right now. Mike Tomlin is a better coach <clears> than Andy Reid. Mm, I'm trying a to look for coach. stats to say who got the most wins, but they ain't giving me that. Yeah, you know why? Because they saying this is ridiculous. You should just listen to Cuz <laughs> and leave it there. No you man, guess Cuz. Andy Reid, they don't say how much wins he got. 121 games in Kansas City. But I want to know his. Mm-hmm. But see, they're just giving me his, his Kansas City Kansas City uh, stats. I don't want that. I want his overall stats. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Mike Tomlin. Oof. Mike Tomlin, as a head coach, is 141 and 74. That's a lot of wins. I ain't going to lie. Shit. Mm-hmm. You ready to, you ready to bow? That's awesome. <laughs> 141 wins. God damn. No, I believe him. Mm-hmm. God damn. No, I believe him. Um, that's a lot. I ain't gonna front. That's a when lot. We, when we talking sports, don't bring it here. Yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead don't and put that here. down. I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna I ain't gonna battle that no more. <laughs> I ain't gonna battle that no more. I'm gonna stay off of that. Don't bring it there. Yeah, that's right. Don't you ever bring scare business here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. So what you think right. about the Cardinals game uh, Monday night? Cardinals and the... Um... That, that is the highlight, right? I cannot wait to see that because one of these quarterbacks 
going to prove that they are trash <laughs> or true champs. One of these quarterbacks, I'm telling you, you got Inshai Private Eye, Kyler Murray on the one side. Kyler Murray, yep. <laughs> and yep. Um, Stafford, and you got, right? You got Jared Goff. Jared, Jared, oh, yeah, yeah, Matt Stafford. Same guy. Jared Goff, <laughs> Matt Stafford. Same, same quarterback. <laughs> all, all they did is, do is move two muffins with the same sauce. That's it. <laughs> so now, Matt Stafford got to go out there and prove that he's not Jared Goff. <laughs> And Kyler Murray got to go out there and prove that he's a real size quarterback. Oh man, that's all to it. Oh mm-hmm. man, um, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't care who win that game. To be honest, I don't even care who win that mm-hmm. game. That's the first Monday night, uh, um, wild card playoff game. game. Wild or wild card game, not playoff, but wild card game. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, see, you know what, guys? People don't understand, and it's a big difference. Wild card round is totally different from playoff round. You know the big dogs in the playoff round. That's when you, that's break, when you pass the field of sixty four. Break it down. Sixteen. Break it down. Break it down. Break it down. Yeah. Because once you get to sixteen, dog, that's all ass whoopers right there. Ain't no cupcakes. So why we gotta play Time in the goddamn it. wild card weekend? I don't like that. Because y'all. Because we, y'all are trash this year. That's we already in the playoffs. Trash. We we not trying to get in the playoffs. We in the playoffs. We got we got the wins to prove it. We thirteen and five. Yeah. And you know why? Because they say instead of two teams getting buys, we want to see who's the best. We only got one steak. Only the strongest going to survive to eat the steak. Which one is going to be? Some and bullshit. it wasn't y'all. Some bullshit, so, man. You know what, cuz? Deal with it. Some fucking Tom, Tom bullshit. Tom is a big boy. He can get y'all out of this problem. Some fucking mm-hmm. bullshit, man. Tom is a big boy. Bullshit, man. All right. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> um, Moving on. Moving on. Oh, uh, you want to discuss... The rash of firings of black coaches in the NFL recently, man. Break it down for us, cuz. It's total bullshit. And they know what time it is. <laughs> now, I understand. Mm-hmm. Oh, excuse me, man. I've been eating these goobas. These goobas are so good. Excuse goobas? me, I'm professional. You said yeah, goobas, goobas like chocolate covered peanuts? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, find goobas at? I ain't know they still sell them shit. But anyway, me even until I went to the store earlier, man. <laughs> yeah, I had to get um a couple of boxes, you know. But yeah, you got seventy percent, and I think it's a high number of that of African American players in the NFL. You got one black coach right now, one black coach. I think that's a shame, you know, and especially when they keep recycling all these coaches over and over again, like um. Oh man, and I just had his name in my head. Uh, but the old Philadelphia coach, um, Doug Peterson, mm. he getting another run after the disaster that that he that he overstood in Philadelphia. Mm. That Philadelphia team should have won at least two championships. He only got one, and the whole team fell apart. That's true. He proved he couldn't coach, or was that great of a coach? But yet and still, he's still getting a chance. They're still talking about him being interviewed by this franchise, that franchise. Mm. And it's just something else. When, especially when, and don't get me wrong, I think Brian Flores, um, he one of the hardest coaches out there right now. A lot of teams interviewing him because of what he did in Miami. Yeah, I ain't why get, I ain't, I ain't get why he get fired, man. Especially after he turned his season around. I mean, even though y'all ain't make the playoffs, but... To come, what, because seven him, seven wins in a row? Or six wins in a row? Seven, seven, seven straight wins in a row, though. We were streaking, remember? Yeah, yeah. I, and, mean, um, I thought that was yeah, fucked up. And him and um, the GM been beefing the whole time because Brian Flores wanted to draft Justin Herbert. Mm-hmm. The GM <clears throat> wanted um, Tua. And the owner sided with the GM. So, of course, now, you know, they kind of slandering his name, talking about well, he got fired because it's hard, he's hard to get along with and all these other things that, you know, these are buzzwords that they use for black quarterbacks to say he hard to deal with or he don't take no shit. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. Because you know they give black um, coaches, I mean, just a terrible time in the NFL. You know they've got to fuck with them boy all the time. And I'd love to be able to talk to like Herm, Edwards, um, Lovey Smith, coaches like that. To see what they had to really deal with, you know, during their tenure as head coaches in the NFL. But I think it's disgusting, man. And it just shows how 
the NFL is still in the stone ages with all the technological advances and everything. They're still in the stone ages when you're talking about leadership for these teams because these owners looking for leaders that look like them. And sorry to say, ain't enough black owners up there. Mm, true. So until that shit change, yeah, you're going to keep trickling down to these same white dudes. True. Hey, I'm looking at uh, um, game day, and them boy got Rex up there picks the Eagles over Tampa Bay. <laughs> Tell you, man, <laughs> they got Rex pick the Eagles. Yeah, yeah, Rex is Rex is be I knowing, take man. A, I should have taken a picture of that. <laughs> we we special breeds, man. We special breeds. <laughs> but my bad, yeah. I mean to cut you off, man. Oh no, it's all good. I was finished. You know, I yeah. was going to ask you. Um, Actually, you know, with these with these farmers, man, I'm like, damn, I, I thought the uh, like you think it's some bullshit where they like saying, all right, we hide some black coaches. We did that. Now, the black coaches stunk. So we we we, we, we did. We try to meet y'all there. We, we did that. So now we've done that so we can get rid of them now. I think Absolutely. that I think it's bullshit <laughs> on that, because look how many of these white coaches lose consistently you know what i'm saying all the time and you give you you going to kick the the black coach to the curb after one see one go at it come on man that's 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 not cool man i don't i don't agree that's with that's how that. you know that's how you know what time it is when you see that shit in your face just like that because most of the time when you see these black coaches getting hired they go into shitty teams with with terrible franchises they go into places like jacksonville in miami houston yeah you know <laughs> You know what? I ain't even gonna say that about that. They really, they really are trash. You will not get any type of, you know, uh, objections to me about that. Though they really are shitty. Though I hate my, I hate oh, my Lord. Did you say you 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 ready you ready to jump ship, man? Yeah, I'm really right now looking for another team to root for, and wow. I just might just, I might just just watch football from now on because I really ain't in love with the NFL no more with the shit they pulling. Come on up the coast, man. Come up the coast on the nah, on the on the, nah, on the left side nah, of the uh, my uh, Florida coast. Come on up. <laughs> nah, ain't no ain't no way that's gonna happen, sir. You can forget that. Mm 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 mm. I still got my pride. All right. all right, all right, all right. Well, I just wanted to ask, man. Um, so. That's all I had as far as most of our topics, man. I'm about to jump into this prime cut, if you are ready. Oh, yeah. Ching. All right, all right. We're going to jump into the prime cut, man. And um, I think the days is very fitting. Uh, I see you got the picture of um, Dr. Martin Luther King, the Honorable Dr. Martin Luther King up there. Uh, and it's right. kind of fitting because right. of a scenario I want to give the people real quick. So, and, um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and tell the story. I'm just going to tell the story. So, the other night, you know, and I was waiting. I've been waiting to see how you was gonna get this point across. Right? <laughs> These are rootless, rootless cowboy shooters. You don't like your tone, Mister. <laughs> you don't play that. <laughs> so, so the other night, right? I was, um, I was out. Um, I, I stopped by the bar and um, just chilling out. And I was, uh, I met one of my um, uh, pool league teammates out there. Well, I didn't meet him out there. I see him out there. I was out there, he happened to show up. And so, you know, I was on the patio part of this um this bar outside where I where I all usually be. And he we just been chopping up. I had he just walked out there, he was like, Hey, what's up, Prime? You know what I mean? And so we we be just chopping it up a little bit. And then out the blue, out the motherfucking blue, uh, this white girl, she just walk up. You know what I mean? She just walk up in between us because he was standing on my left. Somebody was standing, somebody was sitting on my right. I don't even remember who that was, but somebody was sitting on my right. And the white girl just came up in between them, standing in front of me, and she said something to me. I have no idea what she said because right after she said that shit, she slapped me. The bitch slapped me, dog. This white bitch slapped me. <laughs> and I, I lost it. I started choking the bitch. You know what I mean? I, 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 she slapped me and I started choking her ass because I didn't choke, know. Choke I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know who she was. I don't know why she even came to say anything to me. I don't even know what she said because it. I didn't give it time to register because when she said the shit, I didn't even know why she was even speaking to us because I was like, "Who the fuck are you?" 
but she slapped me, man. And so I started choking a bit. And then after, I, while I was choking her, I should say, everybody in the bar just come running out there. And I get it. You know, all they see is this black dude choking this white girl. You know what I'm saying? So they come out there wanted, trying to defend her. But I got pissed because everybody was jumping on my case. I was like, fuck y'all jumping on my case. This bitch slapped me. She deserved this choking. She deserved this shit. And um, her um, her boyfriend, I guess that was her boyfriend. Or he, she was out there with him. It was a black dude. She was out there with a black dude. He came running up over there too. And he was like, um, man, what you doing? What you doing? You, why are you putting your hands on my girl? I said, dog, you need to check your bitch. She slapped me. I should beat your ass behind that. <laughs> and, and, oh, man, it just got crazy out there, man. He, he didn't want nothing, apparently, because he, he boot down. He ain't boot up. He boot down. And um, it was this big ass white dude out there, real big white dude out there, man. He was he was all in my face too, man. And I was ready for him too. But the question that I have about all of that is because because you told me because I I called you that night and you said you was happy that I didn't do anything stupid and I got out of there. What what have what have you? But it's better to be the bigger man, and so. My question is, when is it okay to not be the bigger man? Like, you can't always turn the other cheek. You know what I'm saying? You can't just let shit slide. You can't let a lot of shit slide, man, because people, people get comfortable with, with you just taking stuff. So that's my question. Like, when is it okay to not be the bigger man? That's what I want to know from anybody out there listening. But we're going to have this conversation right now. Cause so what you what do you think about the situation that I just described? Well, uh, it's tough. I think um, you could ask the question, so I'm going to answer your question first. Uh, when it is okay to not be the bigger man, when you get slapped in the face. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just joking. I just, <laughs> I just joking. I just joking. <laughs> Take it light, y'all. Take it light. No, oh, but I mean, you know, in this day and age, man, um, once you get to a certain age, you got so much to lose, you know, and uh, I think a lot of people out here, the reason why they act the way they do in public and in polite society is because they really believe in their mind they don't have anything to lose, like this young lady here. Now, for her to come and just assault you like that, and that's what it was, this white bitch assaulted my cousin. She did. You better be lucky he ain't like how he used to be. Mm. <laughs> Cause I'd have been on my way up there. He would really go to bunch of shit. I'd have been nice and ripe, you know, full up of rum. Mm. But that's another story. <laughs> right, right. But yeah, yeah. But you know, um, it's so dangerous out there now, and you got so much to lose. Um, it's never uh, a good time to not be the bigger person. Um. Being wait, wait, say that again. You say it's never, never a good time to not be the bigger person? Right. Right. So, that, I mean, and. Mm, I got, all right, I got you now. You, I had to you, think yeah, about this. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's why, you know, I kind of pause, let it break, you know, let it sink in, let it wash over you, you know. But it's, it's, it's one of the most difficult things to do. It's so hard. And I correlate that to being like a, a villain or a good guy in a movie. Um, I seen a lot of uh, actors get um, interviewed and shit, and they say they love playing the villain because it's so easy, you know. And if you think about it, the being being an asshole nowadays is celebrated. Americans celebrate; they call them antiheroes, but they assholes. Mm. This is, you know, this talk brass text, and it's easy to do that because you don't have like, you don't think about the repercussions or anything like that. You just like fuck it. I'm gonna just do this. I'm gonna I'm gonna kick this bitch ass. I'm gonna um fuck this broad. You know, I'm gonna just do all this type of shit or whatever. But when you the bigger person and you gotta keep yourself to a certain standard, that's hard to do. Especially in this type of society where being the bigger person is frowned upon. It's just like how you say it's being seen as soft. And it's really not. It's actually the opposite. It's being one of the toughest persons at that moment that you can be man because you really showing discipline mm -hmm. any asshole any animal can act out in a violent way but the pinnacle of real polite society is being able to 
handle problems with your head instead of your hands. Mm -hmm. And because like I said, any Neanderthal can throw hands and destroy shit or whatever, but you take a lot of real brain power and discipline to bow shit up and do shit the right way. So that's my take on it. I agree. I agree with that. And I think, you know, when it's a situation where um, you got people that disagree, right? Or you get into an argument with somebody and the argument seems to escalate and then it start getting disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, y'all disagreeing or something and then somebody start calling somebody out their name or just saying something disrespectful intentionally to rile yeah. the other person Talk up. your mama. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, at, in those type of situations, yes, I agree. Being a bigger man, I'm like, listen, you know what I mean? Just going in a direction ain't intended to go in. You know what I mean? Let's just walk away. You know what I mean? I think that those type of situations warrant being a bigger man or just being a more a level-headed guy. I agree with those type of stuff. Um, um, but on the other hand of that, I think... Um, when people when people getting physical, you, you I don't think you should just let that slide. Like somebody just come and punch you. you know what I mean, not even my situation. It's just anybody just come up out the blue and somebody just punch you. I don't think you should be the bigger man in that situation. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I absolutely, oh, I absolutely fucking agree. <laughs> don't get me now. Don't get it twisted now. I ain't saying to just stand up there and let somebody just come slap the shit out you or punch you or whatever. Because that's when you got to dig in that ass. I'm meaning. Like later on, after you done digging that ass, when mm. they done pull you and peel you off this person and they holding you back, or whatever, and everything done kind of, you know, de escalated, or whatever, just go ahead and leave. You know, you don't need to carry on no further, or whatever. You don't get your chunk, you don't get your pound of flesh. Mm-hmm. And that's all you need. Please believe that, ladies and gentlemen. I am not telling my cousin to just get smacked and not do nothing. I'm not telling any of y'all to do that. If somebody slap you or come and punch you, beat that ass. And then afterwards, be the bigger person. <laughs> then afterwards, be the bigger person. <laughs> yeah, 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 it all applies. Ain't no time limit on being the bigger person. You can be the pretty bigger person anytime during the you know? Then afterwards, be yeah. the bigger person. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. It all works. It oh, all man. Works. Man, um, yeah, man, I, I uh, you know, in, in the spirit of Martin Luther King, right, uh, which uh, tomorrow we're we're observing his day tomorrow. Um, I think that you know we need more of that in our society, uh, especially with the young kids these days. That with all this killing and everything we've seen, a lot of rise and stuff. You know what I mean? It's just just sometimes you just need to say, "All right, you got that. Take take that take that verbal L." You know what I'm saying? Um, right. instead of taking a physical one where somebody's family's got to be mourning or something like that, you know what I mean? Because some people don't know how to stop. Like, some people just keep on going with shit. Like, they just take it way too far. And mm-hmm. before you even get into the realm of saying you taking it too far, just just cut it loose and say, you know what? You got that. You have that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I didn't get that chance. Bitch ain't give me that chance. She just slapped me for no fucking reason. I have no idea. And so Prime had to choke a bitch. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Now, now, please now, please believe I'm not against choking a bitch. She <laughs> slap you. She got every, yeah, you got to get that back. You got to get that back. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, ladies. Keep your hands, yeah. to, if you keep your hands to yourself, these things wouldn't happen. Yeah. I firmly believe that. Nobody should be hitting anybody. No man hitting a woman. No woman hurting the man. And and you know what what bugged me is this like I don't would you would you think that in this day and age in this current era, um, no, I think it's always been like that. I'm about to say white women feel like they just can do whatever the fuck they want to do, and they have no repercussions. Oh yeah, it's always, yeah. you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's always been like that. And, been, yeah, just like that lady I told you uh, involved in the um. In the January 6th siege on the Capitol. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, yeah, she basically said, Y'all can hang that up. I ain't going to jail. For one, I'm white. For two, I'm, a, I'm blonde. <laughs> and she said something else for three. And she was like, I'm not going to jail. I already know that. Just the, just the fact that she said she's a white, blonde woman. <laughs> and she knew she wasn't going to jail just because of that. That should tell you everything right there about their mentality, man. 
that's so wild that the like you know this white women privilege shit these Karens you know what I'm saying this get this shit getting out of hand man you know what I mean it should getting yeah. out of hand and I ain't like, so listen you, listen so you, you think cuz you so so you think some more of them should be choked they should some more of them should be choked yeah listen. yeah I do I do <laughs> you know what I'm saying I'm not trying to be malicious or violent in any kind of way but these motherfuckers can't keep thinking that they can do whatever they want to do with no repercussions to them you know what I'm saying people I know the black the black person, man or woman, always have to show that they're composed, show that they're dignified, and that they deserve to be looked at as dignified by by displaying that behavior. But fuck that. Sometimes you gotta whip a bitch ass because you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that they, they don't deserve to just be acting like an ass and you just have to be dignified. If you wanna act like an animal, I can I can do the same. You know what I'm saying? Don't think you can take it there and I can't. Nah. Nah, fuck that. And, and, and this, the, the, I, I think the time is over for anybody. And I think it's mainly white women. I don't want to say uh, it's white people, but I think it's white women in general that feel like they can say whatever and do whatever they want and everybody's just going to come to their rescue, which that's what happened that night. But I wasn't having it. I was not having it. <laughs> None of it. None of it. I wasn't having it. She picked the wrong <laughs> She picked the wrong black man that night. And, they, and everybody up, they I, picked I, the wrong black man that night. I love the way you say it. I ain't trying to be malicious or violent, but yeah, that bitch need to get beat. I, mean, <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love how you did that. that this, this contrast in the styles, just like that. Because you know, okay. like I like I was trying to allude to with uh, you know with with uh, Dr. Martin Luther King. Yes, we want peaceful. We want that. But if you can get violent, if you gonna get violent, shit, we can do the same thing. Don't don't get it twisted. This is not the sixties. This is not the fifties. This ain't the eighteen hundreds. You know what I'm saying? We buck back. You know what I'm talking about? So yeah, yeah. yeah we need more of y'all doing that to them boys. Not saying to just go out there and just attack white people, but when they attack you, attack back. Stop being scared of white people. Sure. Fuck that. You know what I'm saying? We, we all us human yeah. beings. You don't get no more privilege than I do. So all right, you want act an ass, act a bunky, like we say in Charleston. Right. Tell them, <laughs> You want to act ass? I can act a bunky. <laughs> Let them know how you feel, cuz. There you go. There you go. <laughs> All right, man. Um, so that was the prime cut, man. I think we uh, we can go ahead and jump in and sit your ass down. And Oh, you, you, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you, you trying to hurry up. You notice that? Oh, yeah. Man, let's go ahead and cut off that segment. Let's yeah, get the, yeah, the game is like, on. We about to get in this thing, baby. We about to get don't in this worry, thing, worry. baby. It's coming, about baby. Right now. It's coming, y'all, y'all about baby. It's coming, baby. about to lose right now. Look at that. Flag on Tampa right now. Personal file. <laughs> it's Aww. coming, baby. It's coming. Some boy, always, some boy just love Tom Brady, though. You know what? And Tom Cool, you know? Oh, yeah, you can't do that for real, though. See? 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 Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. Just hating yeah. for no reason. Just hating Listen, for no I, reason. Let me tell you something. Anytime I hate, and I got a reason. Don't tell me I ain't got no reason. Mm. I got a reason when I hate. None. Right. All right. Um,. Uh yeah, so let's get sit your ass down. I, I, I spaced out for a second, man. So sit your ass down, man. You want to go first, or you want me to go ahead and do this thing? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And I'm gonna get straight to the point. Stephen Ross, I want you to sit your old ass down. Ooh. Stephen Ross is the owner of the Miami Dolphins. Stephen Ross is one of the dumbest owners in the NFL. Mm. He doesn't know a damn thing about football, hiring people that know things about football or anything like that. He's a dumbass. He's a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> He's a waste of skin. He want to enrich people that just think he can just do anything he want, and he can come and correlate that shit to football. And this man has never played a sport in his life. Mm. Not tiddly winks, not jumping rope, <laughs> he say not, not, tiddly not four corners. <laughs> he never played nothing. He's never done anything athletic, anything. And he just fired my favorite coach that I not had down there in a while since Don Shula. Oh, man. A black dude. Yeah, a black dude. So Steven he... Ross, I want you to sit your ass down. Sit down and shut up. Yeah, yeah, light his ass up. Give it, him, give, it him, give it to him, give it to him, give it to him. Yeah, give it, yeah, give it to him. <clears throat> yeah. All right, thank you for that Buster. sit your ass down, sir. I appreciate that. No um, problem. My sit your ass down for today, January, what's today's date? January 16th? 16th. Mm-hmm. It was the white bitch that slapped me. <laughs> this past I, knew, I knew that. I knew that. 
I knew that. That's who might sit your ass going down to the day. Because th- 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 here's my reason why. This is what I was just saying just a w- little while ago. Motherfuckers need to stop. These white bitches need to stop thinking that they can do whatever the fuck they want to do and there's no consequences. You know what I'm saying? You can't go around putting your hands on people, talking shit, running your mouth at, at women, uh, at, at black women, or, or just running your mouth, period, at people just thinking ain't nobody going to put hands on you. You know what I'm saying? The disrespect got to stop. We in 2022 now. We not having that shit. You know what I'm saying? If you going to be disrespectful, we can get even more disrespectful. We gonna, you going to learn. You going to learn to shut the well, fuck up today. and keep your hands to yourself. You know what I'm saying? If you got a problem, take it, take it someplace else. If you, you you can voice, you can voice. You got a problem. I ain't got no problem with you voicing. You got a problem, but you put your hands on somebody, they got the right to put their hands back on you. You know what I'm saying? If you 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 getting out of pocket, being disrespectful, somebody gonna put them hands on you, man. You y'all gonna learn this year. I don't think 2022. I don't think people going for that shit in, in 2022, bro. But yeah, she definitely getting to sit your ass down. For January 16th. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. All of them. Martin, Martin Luther King Jr. weekend. Be mm. giving it to y'all busters. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. <laughs> I had to mix a little bit of Malcolm and Martin this, this weekend. <laughs> yeah, you know. Do it up. But it is what it is, man. So um, that's it, man. That's it. Unless you got anything else you want to share with the folks, man. We can go ahead and put a, um, put a knot in this one. Get vaccinated. <laughs> I knew that was coming. I don't know why, but I knew that was coming. <laughs> Seriously, man. I'm tired of playing, man. This shit gotta be this shit gotta end soon, man. For real. I'm yeah. tired of playing, man. You and the COVID brothers down there. <laughs> That's all on Brown, man. I'm telling you, he's still trying to deny that shit too, man. We you know put Brown out. Yeah, we done put him out. You did this shit, Brown. Yeah, we know. Oh shit, man! But anyways, man, we thank y'all for listening. This has been another great episode of Primarily Speaking. I have been host with the most man with the gas, Mister Popping Two Quarters. Let me get in that ass. He's your boy Prime in the motherfucking building and Azul to the twenty five. And no doubt, I am the total package Rex Devereaux, Captain Carolina. And I know, hey, please believe me, I forget these two guys that you're listening to, two of downtown's finest. Please believe that. Uh, we'll be back soon. We will return. Guys, mm-hmm. what's happening? That's what's up, man. So you know where to catch us at. We are on YouTube, Spotify. We on Anchor FM, um, SoundCloud, and um, Facebook and Instagram, all that good shit, man. P-R-I-M-E-R-I-L-Y speaking. No spaces, underscores, or dashes. Um, holla at your folk, man. We catch you motherfuckers next time. Deuces. We come. We come. Running races around the races, got 499 and come around. Meet me at the finish line. That's where it's going down.